Okay, now this is dried on here, and I've got to decide now what I need to do. I think I'm going to do some bubbles, because we've got a, a space here that I think needs a little something. There's three areas, so I'm just going to take, and of course what this is, is some liquid watercolor, which is a little bit more intense than regular watercolor, with a little bit of water and some uh, dishwashing detergent. And then you just blow the bubbles. Let's see if it works. Wish me luck. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. And I don't think this one's going to work. I think it's going to look just like plain Jane, but that's okay. I'll do it again up here. This time I'm just going to kind of push the bubbles on there. Hmm. Sometimes these things work and sometimes they don't. When I tried on other things that worked, and this time it's not, but that's okay. It, it adds some color. And sometimes the mess ups are good. They give you something that you wouldn't have done. So, so there we go. We've got some red areas. Uh, I'm going to take a, uh, just, this is just a, a wax, an old wax oh, a candle. This wax is a little bit more dense than a crayon would be or oil pastel. So we're going to try this out. I'm going to put some lines here. And I think I'm going to go in and put a dot here. But remember, this is center of interest, so I'm hoping that will do something. And then uh, we're going to put patterns in these balls just a little bit. So I'm going to put another pattern. Um, I'm just going to go in and do a big line this one just a big thick line see what happens and uh, don't want to put anything else in here I think that's enough for right now okay we'll let this dry and I think I'm going to go back over it with some blue uh, bubbles and see if that doesn't work better but I have to let it dry Maybe, maybe not. Meh, I'm going to let it dry. Now, this is dried, but one thing I noticed, I'm using student-grade watercolor paper, which is a little bit more absorbent than your professional watercolor paper. And I noticed over here, there's a, some real absorption. It's really uh, absorbed the, a lot of the color, which is, you know, kind of interesting, but not what I expected. So I'm, this took a little bit of the bubble, but not much. So now I'm going to try the blue. Sometimes when you are trying something uh, and it didn't work out and you're trying it again, you might try it on another piece of paper before you do it on the good paper. So here, we're going to try this again with the bubbles. This is blue. Those worked out better. So we're going to try we're going to try it on the paper. We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Look, it went through a little bit. Okay, here we go. Uh, it's just, I think I'm just going to drip. <laughs> it's just dripping, so we'll just drip. It's not doing what I want it to do. So, never say never. We're going to try it again. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, 
Ugh. Again, a big blue blub. So it's not doing what it's supposed to do on this paper. It's just absorbing. So it's okay. We're getting some interesting colors. So since it, I blew it there, I'm going to blow it up here just to balance it off. There we go. And that's the way it goes. Now, it, it did well on our practice and all that. But I think it's this paper that's doing it because it's so absorbent. It absorbs the paint before it allows it to dry in the, in the bubble form. So, hey, these things happen. And notice my hands. Ah, maybe it's good to go in and put some gloves on before you do anything. Okay, I'm going to kind of prove to myself that it's not this mixture that's not working, but it was the paper. So I've got some, now this is some old paper, but it's good quality paper and it's a watercolor paper. And so I'll just take my blue, like I have the same blue that I had. I want to blow the bubbles and see what happens. It looks like it's doing what they're supposed to do. Okay. Let it pop. It looks pretty good. Now that's the way it's supposed to look. So, you know, sometimes things work and sometimes they don't. But I'll use this piece and, and add a little bit more to it and do something with it. So never waste a piece of paper. So we proved that it was the student grade paper that did it.